Welcome to Spirit Life Talks, where we discuss the power of living spirit forward. Today, we're going to talk about the mark of the beast and the Antichrist spirit. Do you know many are looking for a future event, the marking of the beast? And but what does the Bible say about that? You know, I think Antichrist and the mark of the beast has been very popular yeah. topics uh, That's right. of all times, I think. Even in the, back in the days of Apostle Paul, we hear... Uh, rumors of end times and Antichrist and Mark of the Beast. But people sometimes say, we haven't seen anything like that yet. What is what is this whole thing? And Michael, if you want to read from Mark 13, 22, we can uh, kind of set the stage on what is going on in the world with all these uh, future prophecies and events that are uh, upcoming. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and wonders to deceive if possible, even the elect. So the spiritual landscape, what it's saying is, is more complex than what we see with our natural light. Right. There's a lot of uh, um, spirits and powers out there to distract us from our true cause and purpose. And they're people of evil drawing power from the invisible spiritual realm. And yep. that's what Mark's talking about here. Yeah, people, I would say, are more like puppets here, right? right? It's the spirits, the principalities and powers and rulers of darkness really using people like puppets to move their agenda forward. But what is their agenda? That's what I want to look at, as we want to look at today. Because the book of Revelation, uh, my friends, if you look at it, Michael, it has both past, not both, just past, present, and future implications. Amen. It's not just a future event as people think. You know, we all defer future events to maybe 50 years later, 100 years later, but that's not the case. It has um, past, pres present, and future implications. So uh, even in the times of Apostle Paul, some of these revelatory prophecies were going on. Right. And it's cycling in every generation. This, uh, what is written in the book of Revelation, pretty much happens uh, for, for every generation in some form or fashion. Okay? However, I'm not saying uh, the real Antichrist and Mark of the Beast in its full climax will not happen. It will happen towards it the end. It will happen. But don't be deceived by thinking this is only a future event. Right. Some form or fashion of this keeps on cycling in every generation. And we as Christians, we as a body of Christ, need to be prepared on how to navigate through this. I think many people are actually in fear about yeah. receiving the mark of the beast. Yeah. And it's because they haven't had the revelation of what this might actually be. Absolutely. You know, if you look at the scriptures itself, um, Bible is more than a literal document. You know, it's filled with allegories and spiritual undertones. Right. And so we cannot take everything from the Bible and take it literally. Right. When the Bible says, from the mouth of Christ came a double-edged sword, it's not a real sword coming out. It's talking about the Word of God. Right. And similarly, we see when, when we say there is a mark on the right arm of the people, mark of the beast, it's literally not talking about the right arm. We are going to delve it deep, deeper into that. But read with me, if you don't mind, Michael, from First John uh, four, three. Let's look at what this Antichrist spirit is, who is this Antichrist, etc. Let's have an understanding of that. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. That's absolutely. Listen, it says, and, you know, Antichrist spirit is been there for a while. Right. John clearly says it's already in the world. Now, however, as you can say, it, uh, this spirit enters into certain people in certain times and seasons and manifests itself in a right. bigger fashion. But Antichrist crops up time and again throughout history, taking on many forms and fooling the masses. That's right. Okay? And it's been, so we need to discern that because it's already within the world system already. And this was the first century. Yes. This, I mean, and, uh, Paul is writing... 2,000 years ago. Exactly. And we, and we are in 2000, uh, you know, <laughs> right. in the year 2020, and we are still facing these spirits until the end of the ages. So what, 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 what we need to look at is, what is the agenda of the Antichrist spirit? The word Antichrist itself, if you look at it, Antichrist. What does that mean? That's meaning something that is oppo opposing the Christ's agenda. Right. Antichrist. But what is Christ's agenda? If you look at it, let's look at God, Christ's agenda in Galatians 4. My dear children, mm. this is verse 19 and verse 20. 19. For whom I am again in the pains of childbirth until Christ is formed in you. Yeah, so that's God's agenda, Christ's agenda, that all mankind would have Christ fully formed in them. Right. What is Christ being fully formed in them means? Meaning we all coming to the knowledge of our sonship. We all knowing that our sins are forgiven. Amen. We all knowing that we are as sons, heirs, and carrying great power 
that as gods we walk here on earth amen so this the enemy the antichrist don't want anybody to know that's right so he would do everything to keep this truth from the masses right so what he does is he's created religions he's created uh, schools of thought that's why we'll go back to first john if you look at the first part first john 4 3 it says what but every spirit that does not acknowledge jesus, jesus is not from so the the first thing what he does is before even bringing people to or stay keeping people away from christ consciousness he's not allowing people to even acknowledge that jesus was real right he you know that's why he created so many other paths saying you can reach god by this and this and that but what does the bible say jesus said i am the, the only, only way, way the truth and the life too christ awareness to christ consciousness to really people understanding their sonship right okay and i'm the only way through which there is forgiveness of sins as well amen and the enemy wants to keep the mankind away from this truth this yeah. is the anti christ spirit right and that's why he says if you, they don't acknowledge jesus as the son of god right so right away the enemy wants to nip it in the bud the any chance of mankind awakening right so Christ being fully formed in us my friends means we are awakening to those glorious truths that we are sons we are heirs our sins are forgiven we carry power right. to do good on this earth and when you carry power you are anointed amen and the word christ means anointed, the anointed. one that's it and so that anointing of the holy spirit is what the antichrist spirit and the system is against right. if you look at the world system which is whether it's a media the educational systems it's all filled with the antichrist energy right you know it's a frequencies of the antichrist have contaminated the whole world now we as christians if we are not careful we can get sucked into that may- way of thinking we can get that's why some of these days we get spiritually disoriented because right. the whole atmosphere is filled with an antichrist system antichrist consciousness system and that competitive anointing yeah. the evil anointing mm. wants to mark you well, wants to mark you exactly so it wants to manifest this negative vibration everywhere we go and everywhere we look that's why the minute we turn tv on you know it's so easy to get spiritually backsliding right because the whole energy even the educational system we are not careful it is subtly gearing towards an antichrist system you know it's more of a humanistic a human power and human this and right. human that that's the 666 mark of the beast is what 666 and the bible says mark of the be- the number 6 is the number of man right you know clearly revelation says it's a number of man what is man it's a humanistic system hey i am capable of doing stuff without god right it's it's antichrist you don't want uh Christ or that sonship here saying I can do it on my own. Right. Well, and any of us have walked into a building or a place or a school and it's just like it sucks all the life out of you. <laughs> and suddenly you're doubting who you are, yeah. you're feeling insecure, yeah. you're having fear, you're like, "Wait a second, this isn't me. What's going on?" That's right. And that is the antichrist system, system. at work. The antichrist system, the antichrist frequency and vibrations throughout the world system which throws us back into these lower realms of the planet. right you know for of this earth you know i mean right. as a lower realms you just live like a zombie you have no purpose right or you, you know this whole you know if you look at the advertisements the marketing the whole deal is just continual rat race and confusion but keeps you low keeps but you god low. wants us to ascend to where jesus is seated at the right hand of that's god that's it he enemy the antichrist spirit wants to keep you in the lower planes god wants you to lift you up into your true sonship into the higher planes he wants you and i to walk with the divine power esteem value purpose clarity of life chains are coming off people right now <laughs> amen Jr. so we have to be careful if you look at revelation 13 16 even today the mark of the beast is already there in the in the world system amen. and we have to be conscious of protecting us and our families from this mark it is not a physical mark as people think you know that's again how the enemy has deceived the masses into following a rabbit hole of you know going behind every conspiracy theory they think it's a chip it's a it's something some metallic something is none of that it's already talking about a spiritual undertone that's here right. let's read revelation 13:16 okay it also forced all people great and small it's talking about the beast rich and poor free and slave to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads and keep going so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the name of the beast or the number of its name that's it listen he's saying the enemy the antichrist spirit forces all people to um, both great and small rich and poor to buy uh, or to receive a mark on their hands 
and on their foreheads two things number one he wants to have you receive a mark on your hand right hand represents what you're doing you're dealing right in other words it's transaction he's saying i'm making sure the enemy wants to make sure that we are embedded in his transactional system right that you can't do nothing without bowing down before this ungodly system and flowing in evil flowing in evil yeah. and number two he also says marking on their foreheads in other words two things the enemy wants to do is possess your mind forehead represent your mind it is not a physical marking as people right. think it's already possessed your mind if you're in the system you know genu as a doctor all of the higher mental processing actually on happens the forehead. in the forehead absolutely. region absolutely so it's all spiritual meaning so he he wants to control your mind he wants to control your transactions so that you transact with the god of this world rather than the true kingdom as long as your mind and your thinking and your transactions are controlled by him then he can push evil out into the world that's through it. your life that's exactly what that's why we're seeing so much chaos in the world the evil right. in the world because whether it's all international chaos we are seeing or domestic chaos it is all because the people are bought into the antichrist system right and they are now like puppets they are like puppets being you know how we see in the puppet master with the strings Right. That's what's happening to the world. This is why the message of Christ and that what Christ is bringing is so key to bring people out of bondage, out of misery and suffering. Yeah, and people because of either strong desire or great pressure, yeah. instead of crying out to God, they've made deals yes. with the devil. That's it. And now they can transact on his behalf and they can think his thoughts on his behalf. On his behalf. So, it's high time people that we uh, as Christians stop following every rabbit hole and conspiracy theory and recognize that these are spiritual meanings behind right. it the mark of the beast and the antichrist system is already here we are not looking for a future even now there is a climactic future even it will happen we don't negate that we don't doubt that it will happen but it's already here as apostle john says and we have to be discerning the times and seasons protecting our families our friends our communities from the clutches of this darkness we have a chance to defeat this narrative many many times in our life yep before any singular historical future event occurs. Amen. Yeah, you know, as as we know, not everybody is going to be saved even though God Bible says wants all mankind to be saved, since he's given us a free will, not all are going to be saved. That's right. Because true. people are already people who love the negative vibrations of the antichrist system, they don't want to come out of it. This is why even when Christ came, the Bible says he came into his own and they did not recognize and, it. Right. Because there was this antichrist spirit system even back in Israel. Right. that they couldn't come out of it made them love their deeds of darkness yes, more than more than the light that's it and so god's assurance second corinthians 6:17 now michael's going to read that what god's exhortation for us in this time zone and and in the coming era is this therefore come out from them yes. and be separate says the lord touch no unclean thing and i will Hallelujah. receive you yes all, by all means we need to remove ourselves from the mark of the beast and the antichrist system it's infested in the world's popular media to the systems entertainment all these systems which shows the decadence of the 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 devil right. and the pride of life it's infested so we have to as the bible says come out from among them be holy as he is holy Amen. god wants us to be protected because the end of this is misery right. the end of this leads to destruction so god you know he's welcoming as he's saying my 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 beloved children all over the world come fall into my arms Amen. to his eternal love michael do you want to bless the viewers bring them out of the system just pray for the the deliverance Amen. that people can come out of it amen cry out to god right now in the name of Jesus, Jesus and ask him to bring you out and we say he is doing it right now for you yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen amen god bless you